Welcome to this video on how to create a test harness in Java and how to ensure that every frame in your project has the same look feel. My name's Andy Wicks and in this brief program I'm going to show you around a simple way to make sure everything can look the same. This program, Harness 1, is just a test for a class that I'm going to show you in just a moment. You'll notice that there is nothing in this class about how to lay out the form, screen colours and so on. Yet, when I run the program, I get this form in lots of garish colours just to show you that it does work. Let me show you around. It's not this program that does the work. This is only there because it's got a main and because the class that I'm actually going to do the work in doesn't. It's just an auxiliary class. Every form in your program will call this auxiliary class to create its layout. Layout and colour are not my thing. So I hope that you'll improve on everything that you see here. What I want to show you is the technique, rather than say this is the colour scheme that you should use. At the top here, I'm defining some fonts. There's a font that's Georgia and plain. I'm going to make it 24 points so that you can see it. There's another font, heading, that's also Georgia, but it's bold and italic so you can concatenate two types of font design by using a plus sign and then this is going to be 30 point again so that you can see it. I'm also going to define a colour called transparent which is 0000, zero, zero, zero. and that's there so that the background for the labels doesn't appear. I'm going to make the backgrounds transparent so all you see is the text. Now I'm going to create a panel north and a panel for south, a panel for east, west and centre and then I'm making these public so that they're available to any other class that calls this one. This method that instantiates this particular class accepts a J-frame. So I'm assuming that yours is a J-frame type program. In other words, you're creating a proper graphical user interface. I'm now going to set the background colour of north to red, of south to blue, of east to green, west to cyan, which is light blue to you and me, and centre is going to be yellow. I don't recommend this colour scheme. I just want you to be able to see that these are all different colours. Once I've set those panel backgrounds, I'm then going to add the panels to whichever form has called this particular auxiliary class. Each of these panels gets added to the frame and we can then use these in our program itself. This auxiliary class is the one that I want to test and I need a harness for that. I need a very simple program that will just check whether this works. What you don't want to do is spend a lot of time programming only to find that it's this class that's wrong and that's caused you all sorts of problems, hours of work that you needn't have spent if you tested it properly to start with. So let's go back to the harness program. Here it's this section of code that actually does the work. First I'm going to create an instance, an object, of project layout and it accepts this. This is the frame for this particular program. Having taken in that particular frame, I can now define a label 
called Project Layout Contract. I can set the background of the label to be transparent. Transparent, you'll remember, was defined in the auxiliary class. I can set its font to font normal. That again was defined in the auxiliary class. And I can add that label to the panel north. Again, as defined in the auxiliary class. By having this auxiliary class, I can ensure that everything looks the same. So if I now create a version of the program by running it, there's Project Layout Contract. If I change the font, say to to font heading and run the project again, as you can see I've now got bold italicized text. It's very easy to create a standard layout that will get used on lots of forms in your project.